Hey guys, it's Linda. So today I am coming to you with a video that I kind of wasn't sure if I wanted to do and even now as I'm talking about it, I'm still not sure that I want to do it, but I am going to just power through this and you and I will get through this together. <laughs> So this might be TMI for a lot of you, but I mean, I guess that's what we are here as, you know, beauty people on YouTube to do, am I right? My feet are bad. There's no other word for it. They are gross. They've always been gross. My feet are really dry. They, um, you know, they crack, my heels crack. And when I say crack, I don't mean like, oh, you know, I'll put a little lotion on and it'll be all good. No, I'm talking about like deep cracks that are actually really, really painful. Um, it, it happens several times a year and you know, I, I can make it better if I soak my feet every single night and then sleep with aloe socks on and da 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 But like, you know, if I want my feet to be in any presentable condition, I have to really, really, really work at it. So I decided after a long time of hearing about this, I'm gonna try some baby foot. For those of you who don't know what baby foot is, this is a product that comes with two booties, okay? So you put the booties on, you leave them on for an hour, and uh, it's it's got kind of a gel consistency. Once that sits on for an hour, you then wash your feet off, and then in five to seven days, your feet start peeling. Now, if you do a simple Google image search for baby foot, you will be disgusted and at the same time Freaking amazed, okay? <laughs> These people are peeling off like whole sheets of skin. Like, okay, remember when you were a kid and you took Elmer's glue and you would like put it on your hand or your arm and then you peel it off in one sheet? That's what it looks like. So this is where I get really brave. Um, I'm going to be posting status shots for you. I'm gonna take like little clips every day just to show you where we are in the process and then I'll compile it all and let you know what I think and see if it worked on my hard ass feet. Now, I did not take a picture with the booties on, I don't know why, but I did take a picture right before. These pictures are hard for me to post, you guys, so be nice to me. This, it's gonna be over here. This is what my feet normally look like. They are dry, they are cracked, they are even like discolored a bit. They're just, I know it ain't pretty, but I'm putting it out there, being brave, strong, so. I hear that you will start actually peeling in about three days. So again, I'm gonna take status shots every day. We'll see where this goes and I will take you guys along on the ride with me. It might get real gross, so hang on to your seats. See you in another day. Okay guys, it's been 24 hours and as the directions state, I am soaking my feet each day. It apparently helps the healing process. So, I mean, the spots on my feet that are terrible are, they're not peeling, they're just, you know, they're a little rough, tender, whatever you want to call them, not tender, uh, just rough and disgusting. I mean, I warned you, my feet were gross, so no shade there, please. Uh, we'll just hope it gets better from here, right? Day two, two, down the hatch. <laughs> okay guys, day three, I guess it's starting to peel a little bit kind of looking extra gross. Ugh, this is the worst. If this doesn't peel, I'm gonna be really pissed off at this point. Now, isn't that just lovely? Look at that, that's, that's, that's disgusting. I'm sorry, you have to see this right now. Okay, day three, I didn't think I was seeing anything, but something's definitely happening. Yeah, definitely just starting to do something here. As is obvious, my heels, which are usually my most problem area, they don't look much different, but yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> um, yeah, something's happening, I'm molting, you guys. Um, again, it's only on like my toe area and not on my heel, which is really annoying. Ew, you guys! This is, this is really hard for me to show you, please understand that. It's definitely working! <laughs> This is disgusting. It's mainly on this area of my foot, the ball of my foot and my toes, my heels are starting to do something. This is gross. This one has already peeled a lot more, like the skin under it, I can start to feel how soft it's gonna be at least. So that's good, still disgusting, like, ugh. But it seems to be working and doing what it says it's gonna do. 
So, you know, we'll see. This is day five. <laughs> day six. This is getting more disgusting. This part is actually almost finished, which is weird. But this is only just beginning. Yep. So as recommended, I have been soaking my feet every day and that is really what does it. Um, yeah, I, I have nothing to say. This is disgusting, but the skin that has already peeled right here feels awesome. So I have hope, we'll see. Day seven and we are nearing the home stretch, you guys. Um, this is kind of amazing. Like my skin here is almost completely peeled and this is the nicest it's ever felt or looked in my life. The heels are still fairly bad, but the areas where it has already peeled is softer than it's ever been. It's insane. Um, this foot is even further along, as you can see, it's nuts. So apparently, I was gonna say that the heels are the last thing to peel because the ball of the foot was definitely the first, but now the top of my foot is starting to get it. It's very, very faint. You can't even really see it. It's, um, you know, just peeling a very little bit but, you know, this makes it so I can't wear flats for a few days. Um, it's going to be boot city for a little bit. But I'm just, I'm really, really impressed so far. So we will see uh, nearing the home stretch. I'm probably going to wait another week and then show you guys, there's guys the results. Okay? <laughs> Thanks. So did you guys make it through all those baby feet videos? Gross. Okay, so I'm sorry, I don't have a final picture. I will tell you this. The whole thing took about two full weeks. They say one week on the package. No, 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 it took about two. The first thing to peel were, as you saw, like my toes and the ball of my foot. Then it went onto the arch in my foot and then finally the heel. And that's when I thought it was over. Oh no, no, au contraire, mon frere. Then it moved to the top of my foot, which made it virtually impossible for me to wear sandals when it's 95 degrees in July. Ipso facto, you should probably wear boots during this time or do it during the winter time and not be a moron like me. I will say at the end of this experiment, my feet were softer and smoother than they've ever been. Now, let me put one disclaimer out there. My feet, I'm sorry I keep saying this, but they really are super dry, so sometimes my heels do crack. This does not solve that kind of problem. My heels did still crack here and there, um, even though I was moisturizing them and doing all of that kind of stuff, but it does take away just that excess layer of crap that is on your feet, um, and it just it makes your feet feel amazing. Like the ball of my feet and the tops of my feet felt so good and they looked great. Now, one other thing I will warn you about, I didn't even think about this. I'm a moron who, during the summertime, I like to walk barefoot a lot. And I'm not just talking on the beach. I'm talking like my deck, my backyard, down the street. No, okay, I don't go all the way down the street, just a little down the street. But anyway, I decided to walk on my deck on a hot summer day and my feet, which I can normally handle like hot ground or something like that, no, it felt like they were on fire. Fire. So your feet will be a little more sensitive during this time. Just keep that in mind. Nothing extraordinary, but just something to keep in mind. Too long didn't read. Would I do it again? abso freaking -lutely. I will be doing this again probably closer to October because my husband and I are going on a little cruise for our 10th wedding anniversary. Yes, we are old. And I want my puppies to look a little, you know, smooth and sexy and everything like that. So I will be using this again. Uh, if you guys have tried it, let me know if you had the same result or if you know of another brand that does the same thing. I would love to hear about it. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and bearing through videos of nasty ass feet for science. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I promise there's not gonna be any more feet videos. As always, you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. Those are all glitter fallout. You guys are super, super rock stars. Love you with all of my heart, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.